Hey guys, how you doing? It's me, Kelly. So, I got a very, surprisingly, I guess, I got a lot of people messaging me and commenting on starting the, uh, to make our own journals. There's a lot of people out there who are, um, new to art journaling. So, I'm going to do a series of, um, how to start out doing, you know, making your own journals and doing different, uh, things very inexpensively, um, to actually to uh, maybe doing more professional type jur uh, journals, whether it's Coptic stitching or buying a journal or whatever. But right now we're going to start very, very simple. So all you need is some yarn or string. Now, um, you can go to the dollar store. They have at the dollar store a string. You can get hemp string. You can get... Um, you know, different kinds of yarn, cotton yarn, whatever you have, it doesn't matter. Uh, if you don't have money, but you have uh, dental floss at home, use dental floss. That's how simplistic this is, is. and it works. So I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut a fairly, this is just my, actually my daughter's yarn, but uh, just some yarn and I'm just going to cut a fairly big piece. I'm using a new uh, system here today, recording. Um, I was very lucky and very blessed. I got a new computer for Christmas. My husband and daughter surprised me. So everything's new to me. So I'm just, so bear with me, please. Um, so that you can see, this is double um, of the yarn. So that's what we got. Again, anything you have. Now, let me give you some tips. When you go to uh, the dollar store, or if you go to a craft store, you can buy papers that are on sale for 10 cents a piece. Now, normally when you go and you're picking up your own paper, you don't typically buy papers that don't appeal to you. Um, you know, you pick up papers that you like. So buy the cheap ones because remember, we're going to do, we're going to journal over these. So you're not really going to see this background. If you don't want to use paper, um, scrapbook paper, use cardstock, use paper bags fully, like as if we were making, um, which is going to be another uh, video that I'm going to do. Um, so I'm going to give you so many options of different uh, ways that you can start because I know a lot of you are writing me and saying that you're just starting out, you're just learning, um, that you don't have the money to go out and buy a lot of my hands. <laughs> you don't have the money to go out and buy a lot of things. So um, when I'm done with the series, it'll be probably the first or second week of January, I'm going to make a simplistic art journal and I'm going to do a giveaway on it so somebody can, you know, start and have... A, uh, a new art journal to start in. Um, but this is very simple. So this is one of the art journals that I had shown you guys before. And you see all the strings here. And that's a way you can do it. I'm going to show you a different way today. But, uh, and this is where we use the paper bags. And this will be another video coming up that we're going to do. But this is a very simplistic one. Talking in circles, I know, but oh well. So here's what you're going to do. Take your paper, whatever it is, and um, fold it in half. Now you want to fold it in, uh, in uh, long way, you know, lengthways more than this because it'll be a smaller. And you can get whatever size paper you want. And again, you can get cardstock. AC Moore and Michaels, uh, Joann's, Hobby Lobby, they all have coupons available online that you can print out. And um, when you, uh, you can go online. I think Michaels sells online now. Hobby Lobby sells online. Joann sells online. Um, so you can get cardstock. You can get mixed media paper. Um, AC Moore has the uh, notebooks of mixed media paper. Watercolor paper is great to use. Uh, if you don't have any of them and you have printer paper, by all means, use printer paper. So we fold it. And I mean, that's a simplistic. I mean, that's really fantastic. I'm out of focus. Why? Why am I out of focus? All right, sorry about that. I'm learning all this new. Okay, so we have our folded. Now, you can do one of two things. You can take all the papers that you want. Let's say you have 12 papers, okay? And if you got those for 10 cents a piece, it's $1.20. That's fantastic. Um, and you fold them in half. Now, if you want very simplistic, you can just take your yarn or your string, take it around like this, tie it up at the top in a double knot, all right, and that can be a very basic art journal for you if you don't want to spend too much time, you know, uh, making.
making. But what I find is better is once you fold them, and it's easier to fold them in all one, one thing, one paper at a time, attach one paper to another paper. So we'll put these two papers together, and then you'll take some of your yarn, string, whatever you're using, and la la la, you're going to tie it. And you're going to tie it. If you want to do a knot, a bow, whatever, be my guest. You can do it. It's yours. You do whatever you want. I'm just going to do a knot and pull it. And that'll go my first one. And then I'll add. Why does it keep going out of focus? I think because I'm moving it. Moving it too much. And then I'm going to put another piece of paper there. And grab another piece of yarn. It's the first time using this camera, so I'm going to learn what not to do. And then... Have my husband fix it if it needs fixed because I don't know. Okay. And then take your next piece of yarn, you know, as big as you want, a uh, string yarn, whatever you have. And I have many different ways to teach you, to show you, which I'll do a whole video on different ways to connect them um, with different things, including garbage bag ties. I'm very, uh, I'm very fancy and frugal. Okay, and then you go on with your next paper, and then you'll take more yarn, and you'll hook it on, and as many papers as you want, until you are, you have your art journal. Now, here you see all these strings. Now, if you want to be very, you know, very, uh, you can use ribbon. Um, my dollar store has ribbon for a dollar. You can use whatever you want. Um, you can also take, if you, and you can get beads at the dollar store as well, or, um, you know, the art store, wherever. I try to do it as inexpensive as you can until you really know that you're going to really use it and dig it. But you can take these and then put, you know, put beads on them, put beads, tie it in a knot, and then you have these really cool. So you can really uh, make this very fancy for yourself. Fancy is my new word for the year. Fancy, but cheap. Cheap, but fancy. Cheap, easy, cheap and easy. Okay, whatever. Um, so, you know, now you have this fantastic... This is your first page. This is your second art journal page. Now you can do a full spread or a different spread. Now I'm doing the um, Paint and Chronicle that Susie Blue has, um, and I got myself a moleskin. However, um, uh, people are using, um, I can't think of what it's called. People are using regular notebooks, composition notebooks. People are using everything. So if you want to do something like that, like the documented life or an art journal or paint chronicle or whatever, and you don't have the money, um, my husband bought me the, my moleskin for the paint chronicle for my birthday as one of my birthday gifts. Um, and, uh, so I'll be using that and I'm very excited. It's this, and I'm going to be working on that later. Um, but again, you could definitely use this and uh, use it for your art journal as well. So when you turn it, you see one page has, no, I didn't connect this one. One page has um, design on it and then the other is blank. And you go on and on as many as you want. You'd have your string here. You'd have your next uh, page and you just keep going on. Now, here's the fun part of making this your own. And your kids can do this too. I, I told my husband the other day, I have quite a bit of older teens. I, I don't exactly know how to say it. My, my daughter would correct me if I said it wrong. She's not here. But uh, people, kids, it's, it's older teens, young adults, young adults who are starting to get into um, doing art journaling and mixed media and all that. And uh, my goodness, the, the they write me on Instagram and they write me on my email and on YouTube. And I love it, love it, love it. Because I love to encourage people in general, but I love encouraging um you know, young adults, young, young, uh, young ones. Um, I feel so old, but, uh, to, you know what I mean? To express themselves. We have so much going on in this world nowadays. And, uh, I think having a diary or, or, uh, an art journal, you know, to get out your, your frustrations or your happiness or whatever it is, is very important. So, you know, what you can do on here then is, let me see if I can open, I probably so I just have some regular gesso. If you don't have gesso, um, which this is a thing that I'm going to do again, um, a video. I should have grabbed my, where's my paintbrush? Um, if you don't have gesso, use, eh, 
use your white paint. Again, the dollar store sells white paint. AC Moore, Michaels, they all have their own store brand, which I recommend to buy to start out anyway, or just to, just to paint. Um, or you can just, like I said, I buy white paint and black paint to use as gesso. And that's all you really need. You don't need to be, and this is just going to seal it in a sense. Um, I use white school glue as well for so much stuff. And um, because I've been so blessed and I have, um, I've gotten a lot of new people on my channel following me. Um, a lot of people don't want to go back and look at all of the, uh, all of my videos. I have quite a few videos. So I'm going to start this series out and just, just to help everybody and just to get started. So then you will gesso this or throw your white paint on it. Whatever acrylic paint you put, you don't always need gesso. Um, I enjoy gesso for certain things. Um, but if, you know, it's an extra expense, honestly. Um, so if you, any coat of paint that you put down first, let's say you want to make a sky or, uh, you know, your background or your front of your cover uh, blue. You know what I mean? That's going to end up essentially being your gesso. Um, so if you coat this whole uh, cover with that color of acrylic paint, whatever color it is, that's essentially your gesso. And then you'll work on top of it in different layers. Does that make sense? Um, I also have a video of using white school glue for uh, different types of things. So I'm going to do that as I continue on with this as well. So once this dries, then you can go on and you can put um, gesso dries fairly fast. I have to get my heat gun up here though. You know, once it's dry, you can go on and uh, write, you know, my 2015 uh, art journal or, you know, do a drawing on here and make this essentially your first art journal page. It is so much fun. And I'm going to be doing a lot of art journal pages coming up. And again, um, this is just a very, very basic. Um, I'm going to be doing uh, a lot of giveaways coming up. I am getting rid of a lot of my stuff. Um, I found that I have so many uh, pieces of scrapbook paper. Um, so for everybody who uh, don't have the money, because I know we all are tight, um, especially those of us who are on disability, whoever don't have the money or uh, want to start out but don't have the money to go out and buy supplies, I'll be give, doing giveaways on my channel with enough papers that you can make your own journal and so forth. And we're going to have a blast doing this. So... That is pretty much the first uh, art journal. Uh, very basic. You can do it with your kids uh, and start them out, you know, as young as, you know, as young as they are. I mean, you can go to the dollar store and get them stickers and they could um, post on, you know, like happy stickers, but, you know, whatever their day is. It just helps them cope. It helps everybody cope. Um, so that is about it for the this basic art journal and that's all it is it's a very basic two-piece you need some yarn or string uh you know any kind of paper printer paper scrapbook paper it doesn't matter the point is it's getting your creativity out it's having you do something um without having to go out and spend a hundred dollars to start it that's what i love uh showing people how to start and how to do um to do things and i have a variety of different kind of art journals and books and I use them all um, depends on what I grab and what and what mood I'm in so come along with me and join uh, me in making all these really cool art journals and different kinds and then find what fits you and what you like or make them all with me and uh, you know let's just start art journaling together um, I'm very excited for the new year I have high hopes <laughs> which is always always gets shot down with but I'm, I'm just I really want to start journaling again and and just start getting back to uh, all the stuff that I love, all the crafty art uh, stuff that I love. So um, I want to thank, oh, and I want to thank everybody for my birthday wishes yesterday. I have like th over 300 people wished me happy birthday on Facebook, and I am beyond excited and happy and blessed and surprised. And uh, I had a really nice birthday, and um, I'm just very thankful, and I'm very blessed for all of you guys here who follow me and all you guys who write me. I'm still getting back with all the messages. Um, I'm just so very blessed. I'm very, very blessed. And I hope that you join us with me and I hope you all have a fantastic uh, day today. Tomorrow is New Year's Eve. So I'm going to try to make another video tomorrow because um, I want everybody to kind of have their art journal kind of maybe ready. Um, oh, and you know what else you can use? Um, that's what else I wanted to talk about. 
uh, grocery bags, the uh, paper bags that you get at the grocery store, instead of throwing them away, let's recycle them and cut them into pieces. And because this is a whole thing and you can make your journal out of that as well. So that's very recycled and very earth friendly and why not recycle? Um, so I hope everybody at least uh, starts with me in the new year and has, you know, some sort of journal made or has a journal or a piece of paper or a tablet or whatever you have. And let's just start getting going. And as always, be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. I am so blessed to have all of you. My numbers keep growing and I'm just so very thankful. And the emails that you guys send me and messages are just, uh, just beyond, uh, I, I can't even, I can't even tell you how happy and thankful I am. So I will see you guys again tomorrow. I love you guys so very much and I hope you all have a great day. Bye guys.